Uh, this year's iPhone kind of looks like a poop. <laughs> it looks, it looks <laughs> shitty. <laughs> Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy freaking Friday. I know you're like, John, why are you holding a Red Bull? Are they a sponsor? The answer to that is no, they aren't. But <laughs> listen, wouldn't it be great if they were? Red Bull, if you're listening, this is delicious. It tastes like bad decisions, sweetness, and heart palpitations, but it would taste better if it tasted like money. Because you... Pay me, because I just want you to sponsor the show, really. I don't think that's too much to ask. Okay, a few things to talk about in today's episode story numero uno. Oh, how about a good old conspiracy theory? Brian, should we make this like a thing? Should we have like a conspiracy corner? FPT conspiracy corner? Yeah? Okay, here is the dildo. You might remember earlier this week, uh, YouTube was down. Well, really, Google services entirely were down. Just poof, gone. Doesn't work right now, sorry. And then, like, two days ago-ish, Facebook was down for a day. Facebook services, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, all poof, gone. Don't work. And the day after that, iCloud. Hmm. That's right, yesterday Apple's services were just down, including find my iPhone, find my friends, news, and a bunch of iCloud was just Okay, of course now everything's fine, iCloud is back up, all the other services are up, everything's in working order, and all three of them have their own reasons to be down. But, 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 what if it wasn't three separate reasons? What if it's all tied together? What if Mark Zuckerberg was working with the global elite alongside the lizard people what to if make Mark all Zuckerberg the controls go away? all of them? Google, Facebook, what and if Tim Apple? Cook isn't even and real. He shut it all down so they could inject some sort of code that controls our emotions. And what if? Nah, nothing. I made I made all this up. I mean, the services were actually down. Yes, that's true. That's real news. Uh, but I made the, they're not. It's not tied together. Mark Zuckerberg is not like. I'm a monster. But for real though, all three in the same week? Kinda weird. Kinda weird, just saying. Just saying it's kinda weird. Maybe we should ask some questions. I'm only kidding. Kinda. Okay, so a couple days ago on this show, we talked about Spotify going after Apple. They filed a formal complaint because Apple's a big meanie. Spotify filed a formal complaint with the European Commission saying that Apple is hard. It's hard on iOS for Spotify because Apple's trying to hold them down. Spotify said that it's not fair that Apple charges a 30% transaction fee with customers, you know, paying for monthly subscription to a Spotify account. That fee is not fair, according to Spotify, but also if they try to go around the fee and have their users sign up through the web, pay the monthly subscription through the web, instead of using Apple's payment system and going straight through iOS, then Apple punishes them in other ways. And it's not fair because Apple has Apple Music and they're trying to just hurt Spotify with numbers. And I mean, <laughs> you guys know my opinion iOS, the iPhone, this is a platform that Apple built that Spotify and many other apps, many other companies use that user base to gain money from, Spotify included. Yes, you use that platform for your business. Yeah, you pay a transaction fee. That's how it should work. And in that episode, people were like, well, John, you would think differently if you had to pay YouTube money. You use YouTube's platform to gain money, to gain an audience. Why don't you pay YouTube? Hey, you dirty motherfucker. We do. YouTube takes 45, per not 30%, 45% of what we make here. And I'm not bitching about it, that's fair. And yesterday, in a very rare move, Apple actually put out a press release responding to the claims of Spotify. And listen, 
It's brutal. The basis of this press release is that Apple doesn't make money from a lot of the apps on the App Store. The free apps that users download, those are free. Apple doesn't make any money from those. And Spotify could do the same thing. And for instance, they they do the same thing. Like if you're just using Spotify's free plan and that's it, and you just like you're just listening to ads through the Spotify app. Apple doesn't make any money off of that. That's considered free. But then when you sign up through a Spotify subscription, you do it through your iPhone. Spotify thinks that should also be free and that 30% transaction fee shouldn't exist because that's too hard. That's making it too hard. That's unfair. And in the press release, Apple went ahead and said that Spotify wants all the benefits of a free app without being free. Like this press release is super, super long. They even went on to say that Spotify has used the App Store for years to dramatically grow their business. And now all of a sudden it wants to keep all the benefits without making any contributions to the marketplace, being obviously the App Store. Here's another quote from Apple. Apple connects Spotify to our users. We provide the platform by which users download and update their app. We share critical software development tools to support Spotify's app building, and we build a secure payment system, which allows users to have faith in in-app transactions. Spotify is asking to keep all of those benefits while also retaining 100% of the revenue. And then towards the bottom, Apple made like a completely unnecessary jab at Spotify saying, that they are suing songwriters, Spotify is suing songwriters. And if you like dig deep into that, that's not even necessarily true. So yeah, we'll link that press release down in the description below. Like I said, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty nasty stuff. Uh, if you wanna read all of that, I don't agree with like that final point. Like they were just taking jabs at Spotify because Spotify took jabs at Apple. And like, that's lame, Apple, come on, Apple. Listen, this is all about Spotify not being able to be a big boy business and pull up their freaking britches and pay this transaction fee because this is just business, this is how it works. And this isn't me being an Apple sheep, I know you guys love to do that, but this goes for the Google Play Store as well. So Apple's 30% transaction fee, Google's 30% transaction fee, I think that is totally fair. And for the platforms that they both built, like I said in the previous episode, I think it'd be okay if they even charged 50%, but they don't. 30% is what they charge, and I think that's totally fair, and Spotify should shut the fuck up. That's what I think. That's it, and that's all. Okay, last up, let's talk about the iPhone 11. Is that what they're calling it? It doesn't matter what they're calling it. It looks like poop. John Prosser, Apple Sheep, back at it again. Let's talk some shit about the iPhone. Okay, let's go. So if you don't remember, back in January, OnLeaks actually shared a prototype, what appeared to be a prototype of the iPhone, the new iPhone, iPhone 11, whatever they're calling it. And it featured a square camera bump on the back. In the camera bump, we had three different lenses. And then like a week later-ish, the Wall Street Journal went ahead and put out a report stating that Apple would include a triple rear camera setup in their highest end model. And rumors of a third camera on the back of the iPhone, th those have been a thing for a little bit now. And that could go a lot of ways. The cameras could be lined up horizontally or vertically, and that's all fine. And now we have a possible confirmation of that terrible looking thing. According to Chinese suppliers in a report from a Japanese blog, Mako Takara, Mako Takara, macaroni and cheese. They're stating that the iPhone 11, iPhone XXX, whatever, is going to feature a triple camera setup housed in a square camera bump, similar to the Mate 20, Huawei's Mate 20. So ladies and gentlemen, it looks like this is it. It looks like the truth. It looks like this is exactly what they're gonna do. And that's a shame because it looks really fucking bad. I just don't understand how this is what they're going with. Like, look at this. This looks like if it was like a modular phone and you could buy this extra accessory to go ahead and slap extra cameras on your phone for extra cares and fuck it up yourself. But nope, it just comes like this. It just comes fucked up. It's born with this. It's born with this birth defect. Because when people are buying less and less iPhones, when people are running out of fucks to give, and by fucks, I mean money, why not add more cameras for more cares because more cameras equal more cares math logic science and stuff I just don't understand why it's got to come fucked up Hey, it's 2019 if your brand or business doesn't have an online presence
What's wrong with you? You have no excuses, especially when building a website with bookmark takes less time than it took you to watch this episode. Seriously, you probably could have built like three websites while you watched this. With the most intuitive website builder I have ever seen ever, bookmark can have a professional e-commerce ready website built for you in less than two minutes using Ada, your artificial intelligence design assistant, all without you having to know even a single line of code. Ada can create optimized websites for over 750 business types types in one click with their own e-learning courses, website analytics, community forms, and powerful entrepreneur tools at your disposal. Bookmark has assembled a wealth of knowledge for you to use to grow your business and take it to the next level. So if you're finally ready to work smart and not hard, click the link down in the description below. And of course, a huge thanks to Bookmark for supporting this show. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I didn't say it that way. Quack me.